Hello, this video is to help you choose the right theme when you're looking for a studio press theme. So if you go to the studio press site, look, click the shop for themes button and scroll down and have a look at all the themes. Pick one that you think you might be interested in. Let us pretend you like this lifestyle pro theme. Click the button. It tells you how much it costs. You get the Genesis framework and this theme for $99.95. So, and this tells you a bit more about it, what you get. You get in the Genesis framework, the theme, and you get unlimited updates, support, and sites, which means you don't have to buy the theme or you don't have to pay to update the theme each year. Most of, a lot of other themes, you, you only, you only, effectively you rent the theme for one year. With this, you don't. You, you pay once and that's it. You can also use it on your client site. So if you build websites for your clients, you can use the theme on that site too. Um, you also get access to, the, they will give you technical support as well. Anyway, if you have a look down here, it gives you a bit more information. It tells you it's got six color styles, it's got layout options, custom background and things like that. Footer widgets, which you might need to use. Um, it should say this one's a mobile responsive theme and they've forgotten to put it in there. It might be in there by the time you look at this theme. So we'll click the one that says full demo and here we see a demo of the theme. They've got their banner across the bottom. We'll just open a new one without that banner. Right now if you look at the logo size you would imagine because you've got such a big box here that you can put a great big logo in there but you can't. If you upload a logo, it'll be roughly 300 pixels wide by 100 pixels high. Now, most Studio Press, most modern Studio Press themes, have got that size, roughly that size logo, 300 wide by 100 high. So, what this is only the front page. So, you want to know what it'll look like inside. So, the easiest way to do it is if you look page layouts, content sidebar, and see what a page will be like with just this this is not the front page this is like an internal page and it gives you an idea of what uh, the rest of your site would look like so let's have a look at some of the different types of themes this is called beautiful theme and it's one of the most simple to set up it's basically just a simple blog style uh, theme so when you make a new the, a new blog post it will automatically appear at the top of this list of blog posts on your front page and that's the easiest type of um, theme to set up if you use a magazine style theme they've got all these sort of boxes on the front page and if you click one of these it takes you to that particular page and here again we've got the content sidebar layout now the thing about this type of a theme is you've got to put widgets into a widget area to set up the front page. The front page is not automatically set up like this, you've got to set it up. Um, and if you don't set it up like this, it will just look like um, a standard sort of page with a sidebar. What you can do, if, you, if you're not quite, uh, if you think, well, it's a bit beyond what I can do at the moment, you don't have to have the front page set up like this with all these boxes in it. But you can do if you want to. All you need to know is how to use widgets and widget areas. So let's see what next. These are the most complicated to set up. This is a typical agency style theme um, or what I call a stripey front page and these this type of a theme is the most complicated studio press theme to set up. So if you're going to do that read the instructions first and here's a typical uh, photographer's style theme there's two or three of those. Now, how do you find the instructions? The easiest way is to Google Studio Press Theme Setup and look for a link like this. It's my.studiopress.com and then Setup. With this one, it's called Beautiful Theme. So if you click that, and that'll take you back to the Studio Press site. There's not an easy way in the Studio Press site to find this bit. I don't know why. Um, and down the side is a list of all the different themes they make. With all, you click one of those, and it'll take you to the instructions. So all you need to do is just read through the instructions and it'll tell you what to do. Um, and this one, how to configure the primary sidebar area, and it tells you what to do. See, this again uses widgets and widget areas. So 
you'll need to learn how to use widgets they're fairly easy to, to use and if you go if you look go to um, YouTube there's um, a few videos I've made some videos about how to use widgets especially in Genesis um, but the instructions are here just text just read through them if you want to so what else do you need to know that's fairly much all you need to know uh, I've made some slides Oh, but ex well, <laughs> a lot of people have been put off in the past of using um, mobile responsive themes because a mobile responsive theme, what happens when you resize the theme, see, it changes and if you've got an iPad or something, it'll look good on an iPad um, well, they're called mobile responsive themes they work on mobile phones and iPads and things like that and you do really now, you need a mobile responsive theme. In the past people have been put off using them because Windows XP, uh, uh, it, it's really old software but people are still using it. Now Microsoft has stopped supporting XP so hopefully now you can concentrate on making your website work on modern computers and iPhones, iPads, things like that. Anyway I made some slides just to make sure we don't forget anything. I would highly recommend that you consider using a mobile responsive theme. Not all of the, the Studio Press themes are mobile responsive, all the modern ones are. Why should you choose Genesis and Studio Press? It's because Copyblogger have got a big vested interest in keeping this framework, the Genesis framework, up to date because they use it on all their sites. They, last year they turned over more than seven million dollars and they need it for their business so they're going to make sure it really is a good framework and good themes so they use it on copyblogger the web synthesis hosting site they use it on the studio press site they use it on new rainmaker site and they use it on the uh, they've got an seo site called scribe seo and they use it on that site too so they really have got a vested interest in making sure that they, they it's a good quality uh, theme and framework your license you can use it on your theme on your websites you can use it on the sites you make for your clients and you can use it on as many sites as you want to it's a really really good licensing agreement um, you can use the, 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 you can use when you buy the Genesis framework and a theme you can use that on your sites and sites you make for clients but you can't sell the theme to, the theme to somebody else but you can build themes for clients and use it that single license on your client site. There's different types of themes. This is a simple blog theme, simple to set up. This is a magazine style theme, which is more complicated to set up, but there's instructions are provided. Uh, this is another one that's similar to the uh, the one we just looked at. These are the most complicated to set up, called it what I call it agency style or stripey front page style um, and there are photographer style themes too some of those are quite simple to set up some are a bit more complicated and there's two basic types of front page for your studio press site one uses a simple blog listing which just shows you the most recent blog post you've made on the front page and they automatically add the most recent one to the top of the list every time you add a new blog post or there's widgetized front pages which are more complicated to set up and your customers have already got mobile phones so consider using a mobile responsive theme and what we've been talking about is let's see studio press and the, the themes for studio press well thanks for watching and bye for now